Shrine is a new cloud gaming startup company located in North Carolina. Their mission is to make high-end gaming experiences affordable and simple for everyone. They just launched their beta for Eastern US users in early February and are currently focusing on improving streaming stability with expanding capacity to the rest of the US. They offer a cloud PC rental service with various tiers and have an official app for Windows 10 and Mac platforms. Let's get started with Shrine. Shrine is currently in open beta, which means you can sign up for a machine through their site at shrine.app right now. Hit the sign up button and sign up for an account. Then you can choose the machine that is most suited for you. Shrine has three PC tiers that you can choose from. Their prices are pretty cheap starting with a 1080p 60fps machine at $9 a month. This goes up to a high-end premium tier with a 4K capable RTX 3080 card or equivalent, and that's $39 a month. They also have a monthly time limit which increases with each tier. Please be aware that they do not have a way to upgrade your account currently, so choose wisely. We'll choose the middle tier to be able to handle 1440p. Hit continue to select a payment method. Shrine uses the Stripe payment processing portal as their payment gateway. You can sign up using Google Pay or credit card at the moment. Complete your purchase to get access to your machine. Once you completed your payment, you'll be directed to a confirmation page with the app downloads. Download the app for either Windows or Mac. We are on a Windows machine for this tutorial, so we'll install that one. Make sure to allow access for Windows since this app is unrecognized. Once you finish the install, sign in with the Shrine account you made previously. The app has a number of different configuration settings before you initialize your machine. The first one is to set your resolution. You might have more options depending on the tier of your machine. The second is to choose the target frame rate of your stream. Choose 30 to 60 FPS. The third option is to set your max bit rate. This should be different based on tiers. Choose the best option for you based off your internet usage. The fourth and fifth options are the codec and the decoder. These settings are how the system streams your video to you. If you are unsure on what to choose, select auto for both. The VSync option will help sync frames with your monitor's refresh rate. And the last one, window mode, will start the stream in full screen or windowed. Now hit the green start button to get your cloud PC running. It might take several minutes to get your machine ready. Once it says connect, your machine is ready to go. If you hit connect and you get a white screen, it didn't connect properly. Hit Control shift q to disconnect. I found that using the codec H265 and using decoder set to auto worked well for me. Once you have access to your PC, you'll notice that it is a fully fledged Windows PC. Feel free to run whatever you want on it. They do plan to have an app menu to control your stream in the near future. But until then, here are some keyboard shortcuts you should remember to manipulate the Shrine app. Go ahead and hit Control shift q to disconnect once you are finished using your cloud PC. Finally, make sure to hit that red power button to stop your machine fully. Be aware that this should take some time depending on how many games you install in your storage. It will want to back up your cloud hard drive every time you shut down. It has taken over 30 minutes in some instances to back up the hard drive due to a slower infrastructure during this beta period. This is important to know because you cannot reconnect to your machine until this is finished. If you are completely done with the app, you can close the app before this finishes. This won't hinder the data saving process. Shrine is a brand new but promising cloud PC gaming platform. Be aware that as of now, they are currently in beta. Bugs and frequent updates will occur for the app. Feel free to install Parsec on your machine if you're having issues for a more stable experience. If you are curious on the current status of the app, feel free to join their Discord to keep up to date. We'll be posting more content on Shrine very soon. If you like this overview of the Shrine Cloud Gaming Platform, make sure to like the video and subscribe and keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.